This man who faked his madness is called the father of optics and yet nobody knows about him. His work was incredibly necessary for Newton, Kepler and Galileo Galilei. Ibn al-Haytham was born in Iraq and lived in Cairo. The caliph of the time ordered him to find a way to control the flow of the Nile. But that was a feat of engineering nowhere possible at the time considering the technology they had. He faked his madness so that he could escape the death sentence to his failure in this mission and was placed under house arrest. This gave him many hours of free time in which he managed to study, refraction and reflection. He discovered that light travels in a straight line, a discovery often credited to Newton. He also figured out how images are perceived in the brain. At the time, the Greeks believed that the eyes shot out rays that saw the world, but Ibn al-Haytham proved that we see light entering our eyes instead. Under his house arrest, he wrote his main book, The Book of Optics. He's also considered one of the first true scientists who argued for using the now called scientific method. His works extended from astronomy to math on many different topics, even to the point where Newton's laws of motion were first explained by him and the Newton formalized them. People like him are often forgotten, overlooked, or blatantly discredited of their findings due to westernization. So if you want to know more about Android the Scientist, then subscribe for more.